Welcome back to another episode of A Beginner's Guide to Tonex. With the latest update, uh, moving the Tonex software ecosystem into version 1.5, and actually even more recently, 1.5.1, with some other nice improvements, it has raised some confusion among some users that were used to the old method of working. And there has been one big question that I have been getting since this update, and that is how we can now manage our presets. As anybody who's used Tonex before knows, we have tone models and we have presets. So looking up at our screen capture here of our new 1.5.1 update, you'll notice that we have all tone models right here. So I have my tone models and if I come into advanced parameters, just reset the chain, you'll notice as I peruse through these tone models, I have my basic tone model captured just as it was captured with no compression or noise gate or reverb or, or basically any changes to our parameters here. Now, the problem is when we get out of the tone model browser with this little library button up here in the top left, we move to our preset list. The graphic of the amp and the ability to tweak any of the parameters goes away. And this is what the point of confusion, I believe, is, is that folks were used to just seeing a list of their presets and still have the ability to make those tweaks and then save them as a preset. But when we go to our preset list, we don't have that anymore. Well, we basically do, but it's just going to still be over in our tone model view. So this basically here is going to be used to select a preset or to create a user folder for presets and drag and drop some presets into there. But we're probably not gonna spend as much time here. And I think another point of confusion is if I just close this out, get back to where our tone model browser is a lot of folks don't realize that we can still, with this little window up here, very important window, access all of our presets without having to go back to the full list. So with this window, when I click on it, this pulls down a menu and it gives me the ability to import and export presets. That's another question I've had from folks who've grabbed tone models off of me from my website is how do I get them into Tonex? Well, we simply just import them using the import feature up here. This is also where we're going to save a preset. So I'm going to take you through basically how I would approach this and how I would work with this. Let's say that I had a tone model from my Archie Double Cream Ultimate Collection, which I, I have available on my website. You can grab a copy of that below. I'll have the links below to all of these. But let's say I was on OD2 here. Now, if I come up here, you'll notice there's no tweaks made. There's no reverb. There's no compression, noise gate, or anything of that sort. So I want to tweak this. Let's say I'm playing around with it, and I want to add some reverb to it. And I'm just making arbitrary little settings right now. Let's say I wanted to add some compression to it, and we just make these settings. I want to turn the noise gate on and maybe let's say that I also wanted to you know pull the bass back a bit give a little mid boost and a little treble boost and uh, maybe some presence and depth down what, whatever it might be now we've made those settings you'll notice that the little preset that was showing up here now switches to having a little asterisk beside it which means what we started with has been altered. So now, if I'm happy with those changes, just like before, I can click here and we're going to save this. Now, let's just call it something slightly different. Let's just add the name preset after this. Now, we can also choose a location to save it to. So let's say that I come into my folder location here. I can create a new folder. Let's maybe call that folder custom presets just for lack of a better name and we'll create that folder so now when I do finally save this it's going to be in this new folder I'm calling custom presets we can see for this tone model and preset the amp was based on a PRS Archon 50 with the Rev Celestion G12 75 cream back loaded cabinet we've called it drive characteristic we could change that I could say I want this you know going to use this with an electric guitar solid body if we want to add in the pickup position you know it's going to work best on bridge whatever we want to put in there the type type of guitar pickup configuration, the artist, which I have my name, that's song, but we can really edit this as much as possible and even put a description or some notes in here. As soon as I click save on this now, now I've saved this preset. You'll notice nothing happened to this tone model down here because we didn't alter the tone model. I could still come over here, 
I could come and reset the chain back to just these tone models. Now, the thing about this is I can come down here now and say, oh, look, there's custom presets in my list here. So even if I go back out to my original preset, which looked like this, I can easily, without having to navigate over to the list over here, but you know, we do see that new preset I created right here, I don't have to come over there. I can just use this menu. I have created that custom folder called custom presets. There is the preset that I saved and it has all those settings that you saw me make to that particular tone model. And I can go back to just other presets that I've had saved as well. So the, the point of confusion is, is when we're in the tone model browser, what we are actually navigating here are tone models and not presets we've created. Now, if I do have certain settings I make on one, and I flip through my tone models, those settings are retained, which I actually like that feature because if there's some series of tone models that I have some similar changes, like maybe I want to have the same reverb on them, I can actually go through, keep that same reverb and save a new preset by just coming up here like I showed you and clicking and saving it to a custom folder or saving it under a different name. So very nice. It's not going to ever affect your, your tone model. It's just going to affect the preset that we save. So I think very handy. And I think a lot of folks are maybe confused that they feel they have to be over here in this window to access their preset. And then they go, well, now that I've accessed the preset, I don't have any ability to edit it. But we actually don't have to come into that. We can stay over here where we can edit it, realize that this is a list of our our tone models and we can access the presets from up here whether it be all presets that are organized under their characteristics or my presets which are organized under their names or we can create and this is my preferred way of working custom folders that we can then organize our presets exactly the way we want them as you saw me use this custom presets folder and then I can always go back and grab that preset so we don't have to be flipping back and forth. Now, if we wanted to do a proper search for a particular preset, we could come over here and we could drag our filters up here and say, you know, I want only electric guitar presets that are drive, labeled as drive, uh, that are labeled with bridge position and so on and so forth. And we can really go in here, you know, solid body, and we can really go in here and fine tune our search results. But again, we can just come back over here to our tone model browser and without leaving here where we have the ability to tweak things, we can still access our our presets right from up here. And as I mentioned, I really think this ability of using the custom folders is going to be the way to go and really improve our workflow. So I hope that that answers the question that I have been receiving a lot, which is how can we create and edit our presets kind of like we did before? And it really isn't that much different. We just don't see a list of the presets down here. Now we see a list of the tone models. And without changing from that, we can also see the list of presets up here. So some folks may like this better. Some folks may not like it as much. I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to because it is a little bit different. But once we understand the workflow and figure out the best way to utilize this for our use, I think it ultimately isn't too bad and is a nice way to work once we get used to it. And also the other question was the ability to import and export presets. It's also hidden up here in this particular little preset menu that is always clickable up in the top left corner when we're in the tone model browser. So I hope that that's helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that that helps to answer the questions that I've been receiving from a lot of folks. And I hope it gets you going and working a lot more efficiently with the new Tonex update. Today, I'm going to leave you with the demo video for my Brit Silver Ultimate Double Cream Tone Model Collection. It's available at my website. I'll have the links below if you're so inclined and want to help support the channel. I do always appreciate it and I really do hope you enjoy the tones and the music on the way out. So please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. And also please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so, so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.